Hello and welcome to the Ansible Crash Course for 2019 by me, the Cloud Coach. I hope that I managed to teach you a few things, get you up and running with Ansible as fast as possible, and hopefully we can learn a lot together going forward. Okay, so what are we gonna be doing? So first of all, we're gonna be looking at what is Ansible? So the first thing we're gonna answer is the question of what actually is Ansible and why would you use it? Or a better way of putting the question, why would you use it is, what problem does it solve? Um, why, why care about it, right? If it's not solving any problems for you, why would you actually use it? So we're gonna answer that question as well. Uh, we're gonna be looking at an example problem as well. So we're gonna be looking at a situation where repeating the problem manually would be so time consuming that there must be a better way and that better way is Ansible. And then we're gonna look at the example solutions as well, both the manual solution and the automatic solution, which will be done with Ansible. And you'll see from just from that example, how much better it is to use Ansible as opposed to the old school way of managing a whole fleet of servers. But what is it that we will learn exactly? That's obviously the important thing. So we're gonna get an understanding of what Ansible is, what problem it solves for you, but we also need to understand what it is that we're actually gonna learn. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be setting up a virtual machine in DigitalOcean. We're not gonna do that with Ansible, we're gonna do that manually, but those virtual machines in DigitalOcean are what we are gonna use to practice and learn our new Ansible skills, right? Uh, we're gonna install Ansible, we're gonna install Ansible on um, Windows and Mac OS, and it's very easy to install on Linux as well. We're gonna be looking at the inventory concept within Ansible, so this is where we now start to actually dive into Ansible itself. We're gonna be looking at the system inventory, which contains all the IP addresses and host names of your servers. In our case, it'll be our virtual machines that we create in DigitalOcean. We're also gonna be looking at ad hoc commands, so they're one-time, one-off commands that you execute against your network of systems to do things like restart a service or upload a file. We're also gonna be looking at playbooks, Ansible playbooks. We're gonna be writing a playbook in order to solve the problem which we're gonna outline which we outlined previously in the course. We're gonna solve that problem with a playbook. We're then gonna move on to Ansible roles, where we're gonna actually take a part of the playbook and we're gonna remove it from the playbook and we're gonna create an Ansible role in order to do the job that the playbook was previously doing for us. So we're gonna now do it in a role instead. We're also gonna be looking at variables, conditions and loops. Then we're gonna be looking at Ansible tags. How do we tag our resources? How do we tag parts of our code. I hope you find this course useful. Please let me know if you don't. Let me know what I can improve on. So let's move on to our first section. What is Ansible?